uh, okay, today we uh, just memorized and uh, doing a memorial trip to Lizard Island. And uh, we acknowledge the traditional owners and welcome the passengers on board Pelican as we go on this uh, memorial trip to Lizard Island. Uh, remember those loved ones who were with us over the last five years and shared the who shared the excitement and the laughter and the happiness during these last five years. We first start off have pictures with um, Matt Bowen just winding up the sails, setting the sails so that we could head off to Lizard Island on Pelican. The boat that uh, comes all the way up from Melbourne every year to take the Cookie Imden Bomber to wherever they want to go and help them uh, with their problems and uh, we give the kids uh, the excitement and uh, help them with by taking them on the boat uh, to wherever they want to go and taking them out on the day sails and let them feel the fun of riding the waves or feeling the wind uh, part there and uh, you know uh, as we come over to Lizard Island, the people have heard a lot about Lizard Island. The island that many of our elders has been on. We'd like to um, acknowledge these people that have passed on Firstly, Richard Weibo, who was with us last year on the voyage to Lizard. Valerie Bowen, who was with us a couple of years ago. Errol Dero, who is a traditional owner for this Dingal area. Nick's mum who cared for Jasmine um, on the first voyage uh, and who was just like a mother to Jasmine. Walter Jack who was an elder of Hopewell. Walter Bowen who was an elder and these two was with us on the first voyages out of Cooktown. These are people who left us and uh, the voyage was made on their behalf to remember them. Then people might ask why this voyage, um, you know, it's going over to Lissid. What is so important about Lissid? Lissid Island is um, a unique island that many of our Cook uh, and Bama visited way back in the dream times, right up until the peop when the people were over at Cape Bedford. Uh, people who went with uh, Pale Friend and another boat to Macaiva to get Jugong oil so they can sell to other communities to survive and be self-supporting. So. The, and the story of this place is uh, Stingray. Uh, to it's known locally to the 
uh, traditional owner of this area as Stingray, and there's a story to it that uh, so that I um, but I cannot speak to it, only these traditional owners. But it is, it is very important to most of us. Uh, the, the, all these islands are, have uh, a history to most of our bummer from around here, Cook Indian people. And um, uh, a lot of these islands, if they could talk, would tell a lot of stories. But it's very common soothing for people to um, who needs healing and, uh, and these islands could offer a lot of a lot of comfort, a lot of food so it is very important and this trip was made for these people on this very special island and um, that on this very special boat on that very special day. Thank you.